All right, everyone. Now, guess what I have attached? I had a long log cart. Whew, can we do it? Can we maybe somehow today get from the garage to the lumber and to the objective? I've got half an hour to do it for an episode. Let's see if it's possible. Uh, getting out of here at the beginning could even be a challenge, but we, we're going to hope not. Uh, we can follow the trailer. Oh, I should almost be able to get through here, but I don't want to drown myself. So I'm going to take the long way around again. And uh, we need to get the trailer to the lumber first off, of course. I think we're best off taking the actual road for that. Uh, until we get around here, then it's going to be a bit of a tight squeeze. Let's get to there, and then we'll see where we need to go from there. Uh, luckily, we can do uh, this. Pack that card up. And we are good to go. <laughs> Alright, oh, don't hit the tree already. Uh, might have to turn all the little drive on here. We're already struggling over the rocks without it. And we are off. So we weigh a little bit more now. Um, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. If it is a problem, then what are we going to do once we have the long logs on here? Going bigger, going home again with the long logs. Hope it works out better than last time. Although last time we ended up uh, figuring out that thing where we had one truck pushing the other at the same time, using the winch mechanics to our advantage, and that worked really, really well somehow. Uh, but let's let's get out of here first, and then we'll see what we're faced with once we get loaded up. We kind of planned a, a route last time. Uh, we're actually going to plot the route after we pick up this load, so... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see here. I hope we have enough fuel to make it there and to the, uh, to the lumber end of the objective. I think we're going to try in one shot to do that. And we... Do we have that fuel truck? Is that a fuel truck we have sitting near the volcano? I can't remember. Actually, we drove it down the side of the volcano, didn't we? Oh, and there's a fuel truck that we found. We unlocked one. What, right? Was it a fuel truck? No, it was a repair truck. Okay, that we unlocked two. Let me point it out of the mini-map real quick. Unlock these two. Uh, let me actually go over there and check it out. I don't think this one holds fuel. But I, I might be wrong. It does look like a tank of sorts there. Uh, on the back of this thing. So I don't really know. Anyways, let's continue on down towards the lumber. What is going on? Okay, I was wondering what was going on with my uh, start engine. With my waypoints there, but it was still pointed at the, the other truck that I just hopped to. You'd think that the waypoints would be individual per truck, but whatever. Maybe one day they will be. Alright, power on through here. Uh, we, don't worry about too much. we don't have to worry too much about taking damage. Um, the only part I'm worried about taking damage in is the water we have to cross at the one point. Uh, we crossed it in another vehicle, similar to this one last episode, but that wasn't pulling. I don't know how many thousand pounds of logs dragging a trailer behind it. So we'll see how it goes. It took a little bit of drowning damage, but only a couple points, so really nothing too significant. Oh, I just noticed in the top right corner, or top left corner, I, I, it's almost like I never even saw that compass before, but I just noticed that it points in the direction uh, that your next waypoint you've set out for yourself is. So that's, that's handy. If, I guess if the line isn't good enough for you. Well, that could actually be quite handy. If you're sitting there wondering, okay, where, what direction is my waypoint in? And you're looking around 360 degrees, having a hard time finding it. Just look up there instead. All right, truck, come on. Pick up some speed. Got the power, but not the speed. The two kind of go hand in hand, you'd, you'd hope. But I guess not. I know I can use the manual shifting stuff, and I think I can switch between high and low gear that way. Oh, that's reverse. That is reverse. Is that so? Is that an automatic or? Oh, oh, okay. 
Apparently that's a bad thing to do. So I'm gonna guess that, that was a high gear that I was trying to go into first. Possibly. Okay, that is... Uh... <laughs> that is why we use the automatic mode. Man, we're kind of on the edge of a cliff there. Luckily, we didn't hit any real slippery mud. It slides sideways on a little bit of a slope. I'll have to mess with that gear thing a little bit more in a minute there. I think what we had it on at first was the automatic mode. Oh, we're at this point already. We have to decide where, what way we want to go. Oh, no. We go left. Should look at my compass. Turn. Let's try to switch back. Nope, no, that's not what I wanted to hear, I guess. Is that, was that the automatic thing? I don't know. <laughs> I can't be bothered. Time is a-wasting. Took 40 damage there. That kind of sucks, but that's fine at the same time. <laughs> Careful here too. Okay, no problem. Don't think we took any more damage there. So that's good. Obviously, obviously that's good. Uh, red line. Uh, no, it's not on the compass. I use the compass. Do we want to go straight? Uh, I guess over to here, or do we want to make a turn to our left? Looks like we can go left, I guess. Let's go left. Now we should be at our destination there. I say, backwards I say. Backwards I say? Oh, okay, nope. Backwards you don't say. All right, all right. This is why I don't mess with these things. Yeah, now now f the forward key is backwards. Oh man. So Oh, I don't I don't know what I did. I don't know what I messed up. But it was something. And it too changes for every vehicle when you change it. So, I can't really go to another vehicle to look it up. And I can't open another, a fresh map without deleting the progress in this one, so that's out of the question. This road, I think I should avoid possibly taking it when I'm leaving this area. I think I said that last time I drove out of this area, I think I used the same passageway. The log trailer, that's going to be a challenge not to tip the whole thing. I'm hoping this vehicle is more stable than the last one. But uh, I guess we'll find out at some point during this trip. Let's point ourselves in the right direction first. Oh, took more damage. Right. Can't reverse. Right. I broke stuff. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? I thought there was an automatic. But I guess I'm doing the hit forward to go in reverse thing again. Alright, alright. Somebody in the comments, whoop, right? Will tell me what I messed up. You guys will probably know exactly what I did. Alright, ah. That's annoying right forward to go backwards. So let's, before we get anywhere else here, let's plan our route. I guess we're going to go that way. That looks like it might be a bit of a treacherous hill, but and this is going to be a challenge too. Oh man, getting out of here is going to be the hardest part. We could just try going right. I think we're going to try left though. If we tip it right there, it's not that big of a problem. Uh, let's unpack the cart. That's that seems that seems good to me. Yeah, back up over top of it. 
Come on. Get folded outwards. And oh, now I'm out of the area. Crap, I have to do this silly thing to back up. I can't do that, right? Oh, and forward stalls me. So that other option there. Is that what I needed? Oh my god, that was it. I thought I tried that. We need to get this trailer level for it to let us load stuff up. That might be good. Long logs, load up. Whew, six load points though. The six points we need, we now have. Alright, let's let's try this left route. We're just gonna go to here, and then we're gonna scout it out a little, I guess. Well, I think we're kinda committed to going that way at that point. And then, ugh. Ugh. Doesn't look good. At all. Oh, we'll drive time. Remember, you have the big trailer behind you. Yep. I'm hitting those logs. Stacks right there. Oh, man. This could be very interesting. Those trailer wheels. <laughs> oh, man. Man, oh, man, man. Oh, my God. This might be a mistake already. Turn off the diff lock to turn better. But I'm gonna get stuck so much easier with all this weight behind me. Guess I can use that, use the diff lock in the straighter areas still. All right. <laughs> well, we're we're making it so far, sort of. All right. I can't see. I cannot see. I have wheels off the ground. I need to go. Oh my. Can I go straight? Can I fit through there straight? Let's try it. Let's see what happens. What could possibly go wrong? Famous last words. Taking damage. That means we're hitting something. I think we just took down a tree. Oh my. This looks kind of sketchy. This is a pretty sketchy neighborhood again. Uh, tree is going to cause problems. Okay, we're past it. Now to get back on this roadway, turn off the diff lock. So tipping that trailer over. Ah, uh, it's not going to work. All right, all right. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Trailers down and over. Well, crap. <sighs> now we need to send a rescue vehicle. That sucks. Nearest rescue vehicle is at the garage area thing. What was this up here? That's this is the nearest rescue vehicle. Oh man. We're doing this again, are we? All right. Uh, I don't know if that way would have been better, though. We, we had it almost, and I just pushed a little too far and tipped the whole thing over. If there was a pause button where I could stop and winch everything, then that would work better, but... <laughs> I want to go down the side of the volcano. Let's, let's send this thing to the rescue. And we're there. Alright. Go back into the volcano, though. That would be problems. Many, many problems. And what was I thinking? That couldn't have gone well. And we're stuck. Could not have gone well. Things do not go well when I try them. I should have known better. Man, I'm gonna get myself stuck in the volcano. This thing is... Oh, I'm steering completely wrong. I am such a noob. Noob mistakes have been made. All right, let's steer the correct direction this time. There we go. Now we're pointing the right way. 
Oh man, why aren't you? Okay. Powering down. Oh, that stalled my engine and did a lot of damage. That was a mistake. Yikes. I didn't know we could stall our engine by hitting stuff too hard. I think the performance in this vehicle took a hit too. All the damage that it suffered. I might be mistaken, but I feel like it did. Oh man. Now I almost have to be careful with the damage vehicle. Alright, this is our backup logging truck too. <laughs> Around this corner. Yeah, I told you guys this wasn't going to be as easy as it looked. We are having so good luck in the first episode or two and then uh, just... Now it's starting to go downhill again. And I was worried it was going to be easy. Alright, here's this catastrophe thing. We're here, buddy. We're here. Sorting out your mess again. Uh, let's winch her over. No, it's not going to be that easy. Well, dang. Dang, dang, dang. Alright, let's change that truck. We're going to get the trailer off of that thing. Or not. I can't detach the trailer? Is that what you're saying? Well, what am I supposed to do then? How am I supposed to get the truck back over? That seems problematic. Um, I need to better get everything better positioned. I feel like I need to push this in the direction a little first. And then maybe back it up a little bit. I have, I have, an, I have a plan. I highly doubt it's going to work. Highly, highly doubt it. Uh, but we're going to try it. So we're going to move this thing forward. And then we're going to move it up a little more. We need all the speed we can get. Then we're going to go backwards really fast to try to just jolt it back over. Yeah. Come on. Come on! We got the winch pulling, I got the truck pulling. Alright, let's try it again. We're gonna involve the winch in it this time. The additional jolt. Yeah, that didn't, that didn't work any better at all, did it? Taking damage doing that too. Probably to both vehicles. Alright, I wish there was better winch points. Like at the top of the... The top. When I say top, I mean the... The higher part of the truck. It's tipped on its side. Should I try to latch onto the front of that tipped over truck? Let's try that. Oh, 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 oh! That worked better. All right. Oh, what a mess! What a mess! All right, let's let's get back in this thing. Start up the engine and pack that cart up. Uh, okay. Pack cart. Pack cart. 
Are you gonna pull it on or do I have to do things the hard way? There we go. There we go. All right. Let's get back on track. Let's set ourselves a rope back to the lumber yard again. Ah, oh, man. Let's try this route. Let's see if it's doable. If we can do it in reverse, then we might be able to do it with the actual lumber attached. We need to turn this thing all the way around now. It's not an easy vehicle to turn around. Be careful with these logs a little too. I don't want to get stuck on them like, like I did in the last map. Although it wasn't one of the big vehicles that got stuck on it, so I should be okay. If I had the winch, the crane arm on top, I could load those two up, and if I get... I looked at a video to see what the purpose of the winch arm was. And uh, if you use the winch to load up three logs manually, you have to find a certain certain logs around the world. They're kind of hidden in the corner of, like, log shack. Yeah, this corner would have sucked. I wouldn't be able to make that the trailer. You can go in towards the right would have been like impossible. I think I'd have no choice but to take that route, to be honest. That's kind of weird. Hmm. Now we're definitely not going to have enough fuel to make it there. We'll have to send a rescue mission halfway through. Dang. Alright, but yeah, if we load up three logs on the back of a log cart with that arm manually, uh, you can only load up certain logs, then you can automatically have a full load again. Now, when I tip the whole trailer over, it only left two on the ground. But say, for example, I tried twice, failed, loaded up a couple logs from each spot, then I kind of resume. If that makes sense, probably not. <laughs> Man, doing this with the trailer too would be a huge pain. Is this the other road I'm deciding to choose? I can't make this corner. I don't know about this, guys. We're gonna try the long log trailer again, because we're here, but... I'm kinda iffy about if this is gonna be successful or not. I've gotta turn this thing all the way around again. Uh, I wish you could pull into these logging areas a little bit better. I know they want to make the game a bit of a challenge, but isn't it already? I'm gonna have to do some crazy maneuvers to unfold this whole log cart too. Oh man. Try turning the diff lock off, it doesn't always help when all you're doing is spinning turning it off to try to turn. Alright. Back up a little bit more. We're going to need a little bit of space to unpack the cart. And by space, I mean space to move forward because, see that? It's not unfolded. And is our truck straight enough? No, it's not. It's telling us to straighten it out more. How about now? There we go. <sighs> Tip number two. Aw, uh, man. Wait, 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 wait. Let's let's try this route, I suppose. I The beach is probably not level enough. Otherwise, that's a good idea. I suppose we'll take it down to here. And from there, we'll see what looks best. Um, I think... Uh, I think this might be... We should be able to hug the right without tipping ourselves, I hope. I hope. And for some reason, I can't make it. Oh, there we go. Another waypoint. All right. Let's see if we make it that far, even. We're going to climb over these boulders, leaving the area. That's not going to help our stability at all. Struggling. Come on. You can do it. You've got eight wheels spinning. There's no way you can't make this. Come on. I know you've got four wheels dragging behind, but... This view is both very nice and horrible. These rocks are going to get stuck under my axle. Because now I can't see what the front of my truck's doing when I do stuff like that. 
they're not gonna have be able to take the corner wide enough now. Because of that. Did I have the diff lock off the whole time? Is that why I was struggling? Yeah, look at this corner. I don't know about this guys. I don't know. Uh this is probably gonna end in tears once again, really, really quick. This corner is really, really sharp, and I took it really horribly. Unless, uh, let's go into advanced again. Use the winch. Can I kind of pull the the log cart? Ooh, don't tip it though. Maybe pull it over a little bit to try to get around that corner easier. Now we're smart thinkers. Alright, that's enough of that. Get back to a, a, a semi-almost normal view. We're going to have to do that again at least once to get around this corner, though. Uh, we're going to have to do it again, because we're going to start tipping. Alright, is there anything within range? Yes. Good. Let's try that tree up there. Don't tip, though. Please don't tip. Please don't tip. Just, just don't tip. That's all I ask. Just don't tip. Kind of pull in one direction while I'm driving in the other, but it's straightening me out. That's all I'm going to get out of that, though. Well, let's try again. Take a look at our turning race. We can straighten ourselves out now. I think we can make this around this corner. Oh my god, that corner. All these corners. Oh my god, what do we have planned up here now? This camera angle. Oh my god, another corner like this. There's going to be less trees to grab onto this time too. Take it as wide as we can. Careful. Careful. Mm, I, I don't know. I don't know about this, guys. I don't know. This is a really good idea, a really bad idea. Man, oh. Oh, oh, okay. That's answering that question. I apologize if my comment. Oh god, I'm gonna tip it. My commentary is suddenly horrible, but... Oh, okay. We might be stable now, but I'm... I am just concentrating the most I possibly can right now. This is the, the slow-paced video games that make you break a sweat. There's that winch point. Maybe I should keep it. It might be able to bail me out. Also cause problems if I'm not careful. Uh, that's as far as it'll reach. Okay, I think we need to find a new tree over there to keep ourselves from tipping, though. That seemed to be helpful. Alright, that one might do. Just keep it snugged. Snug one. It's a tree. Of course, there's always a tree. Or a hill. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay. Let's back up a little bit more. Turn those wheels the right way. Alright, alright. Really?
really wish I could have several camera angles at the same time or something. I need to watch so many things. Ah, there's a tree. Wish I could just knock it over. I had speed I might be able to, but I don't have speed on my side. Just knock the tree over. Oh, I need to be careful I don't knock the trailer over, speaking of knocking things over. Oh man. Tree. Is it too much trouble for you to, to ask me for you to move over a few inches, please? That's all I need. Alright, let me try... Oh, this might be a mistake. Don't tip over. You, is there a, my front, winch the front of the truck over without destabilizing the trailer. Alright. I might do. Whoops. Alright, we're squeezing that past. Now we just have to be careful we don't tip the whole trailer over. Of course. Logs there hitting it, that's gonna cause problems. Um let's try the winch here. Wish I could rotate my camera. I have no way of doing it with the keyboard and mouse as far as I know. Rotate my camera without deselecting everything. Is that all I have to choose from to winch onto? It is. Kinda is. At least have any use. Oh boy. <laughs> the many reactions of troubled space is this video. Oh, now I'm hitting the tree up there with the logs. Am I? Well, kind of. I'm hitting the, the branches. That should be okay. Let's get this winch going again. Because it seemed to work well for me before. The tree's just barely in range. It should be good for bailing us out. But hopefully we don't need it. Alright, where am I pointing my truck? Keep that in mind too. Straight ahead now. One key, one finger ready to push the F key. Okay, we're, I think we're around that corner safely, finally. Oh no, this doesn't look much better. Struggling. Come on, baby. That sound. It's a scary one to hear. Took the whole thing out for better wheel off the ground. That's that's usually a sign to stop, right? You need to turn. If I turn the diff lock off, it doesn't have any traction. These are unbelievably muddy hills. If I go straight. Better off going straight. There's a lot less bends. Looks like the game wants me to go straight because I am having a terrible time otherwise. Then I'll have to go. Well, we'll I have a feeling I'm going to have to go straight through here, but if I can keep to the left side and go this way instead, that might be better. Whoops, I don't want that point, but we'll have to deal with that when we get there because I don't feel like canceling all of them. And as far as I know, there's no way to cancel just the last waypoint. A little bit bumpy. It still doesn't look safe. It looks so much better from the mini-map. The big map. You need to stop calling it the mini-map. Oh my god. This job in real life, to drain like this, would be so stressful. Uh, I have a feeling that going towards the left is going to be easier for me. This looks like a weird bend in the road to go right. If I can go left, that would be better in the long run for sure. Let's go left. Keep an eye on that trailer. Be careful there. It's going to cut that corner sharp. my truck out now. 
If I tip it, I might cry. A lot. Like, a lot of crying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, give me a decent camera angle that I can work with. That's making me angry. This is... None of these are camera angles. That's not a... This is of no use. I want to zoom out, like, four times farther. And half the time I zoom out, it, as soon as I let go of the mouse wheel, it's like, nope, you're going back in. Zoom out. I want to see my surroundings, and I can't look up any higher. Ah. If I face the camera this way, can I look up higher? No, I... Oh my god, this camera. This camera. Well... Okay, we're okay. For now, I need to go back to the front of the truck. It's almost better facing backwards for this. Kind of have to have the free camera going the whole way. Just so you can uh, keep on everything, because one camera angle doesn't show at all. You got to constantly look at the back of your trailer, which is way back there. Then you got to look at your where your wheels are, and what direction you're heading, and what's coming up. So you need to be able to plan for every corner. And oh, look at that trailer is just getting dragged through the mud so much that you can't even see the wheels. You just see a, a bunch of mud. You can see it through the glitches and trees and stuff. Hopefully this truck isn't in the way up here. I think I can get around it, otherwise I can move it. It has a few more damage points before it's toast. One more big bump though, and it might be the end of it. Alright. Hopefully we're through the hard part, hopefully. But we're definitely not making it there this episode, nor on this tank of gas. Don't go over the edge. And we avoided the truck. Okay. Now we can chill at this camera angle for a moment. Turn off the diff lock even. Get going more than three kilometers per hour. Going to need the diff lock back on up here. There's a lot of rocks even ground. Hold on. Um, just looking at the map. I don't like the sign of going through here. thought about cutting through, but it looks like that's pretty hilly there. The hills are not what I want. I might be better going off, trying to hug the left, the right, sorry, the right side of the, of the water. far as direction I go when I get up here, that's a good question. I can't remember what I did when I kind of scouted it out briefly. I think I decided that I was going to go through the garage area. When I get to the garage, then I can refuel too, so I, I think that's going to be the best thing for me to do. Just head right to the garage. And hopefully we can get there this episode. Uh, you know what, that's not going to happen. You know what, we're going we're gonna to try to do it anyway. It's going to be an extra long episode. Alright, zoom out please. 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 Okay, you were good for a second. Well, I guess this is the zoom out we get. If it didn't constantly... Whoa, 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 whoa. This looks so much more... unlevel. All of a sudden. Take it slow, so that if we start tipping, we can catch ourselves, hopefully, like that. I think if we went through full speed, that might have been the end already, again. Okay, that's not working. Pulling the back of our truck over. Um, let's put the parking brake on. I think if I release this, I'll be okay. Yeah. 
All right, let's get the front of my truck because I can't move the camera while I've got stuff winched over. What about these trees? How many of these trees can I just annihilate by driving over them? There is one bigger one there. But I think I might be best off Careful, please. Parking brakes on. Backing her up a little. That's a lot of rocks. Jeez. Okay, that's not a better idea. I was going to go up on top of the hill a little more. God, please don't tip it. But, um, there's a little hill there. That's going to cause more problems than anything. Should I just go through the water? Is it level at the bottom of the water? At least. Maybe. I think we're going to have to try it. Alright. Carefully. Try to back this thing out of here. For a course correction. about this whole course correction thing. Oh my gosh, I just tried going through there. And I better get back on this road. Of course. Ah. Mm. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh, if I had a better camera angle, I could see it better. It's not any better at all. I don't know about this, guys. Okay, don't back it over the cliff. Need to go this way to get the trailer to, to turn to the right. It's not enough space, though, because the cliff is, of course, right there. That's as far back as I can back up. Maybe I, I'm going to have to go that way, I think. I don't see any other option. Hopefully these rocks don't cause me too many problems. So there's just no way I'm facing my truck the correct direction. Oh, hope this isn't a mistake. Okay. Gently, gently. If I can keep it centered through the hole too. Hopefully that tree will stop it from completely rolling over. How's my wheels? Let's go to the, the right word direction. Right word? Is that a word? I don't think so. Okay, now we don't have a tree supporting us anymore. So I need to be extra careful. Extra super duper careful and Hopefully over con cautious. We're tipping a little bit. Yeah, that was kind of worrying me too. The truck was tipping in a different direction than the trailer. Alright, what's in front of us? Alright. Can we make it left? <laughs> Doesn't get any easier looking, does it? Uh, if we go straight, that's going to be pain. We have to go left. We have to turn left out of here. Oh my. How are we going to get left out of here? Can I turn around in that area? That looks tricky too. I mean, this is a big trailer. I think I'm going to have to try that. Hopefully this is a big enough spot of level ground for me to... Turn this whole thing around. Let's not do what we did last time and tip it over. What? So we went over a ridge like this. I wish I had a good camera. Thank you. I think I'm going to do that again if I try that. Let's 
not repeat our mistakes. Let's instead learn from them. I don't think this is level enough ground. I think we may have committed ourselves. Yeah, that's... Crap, we're committed again. <sighs> well, so we're not going to make it to the garage this episode because I have to end it right here. Hmm. So I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> oh, I'm going to cry at some point. <laughs> this isn't humorous laughing. This is desperate laughing. <laughs>